2033, the world became overcrowded with both man and machine, allowing most factions in our society to become digitized. Our communication, our surveillance, even our drugs. Today, criminal overlords dominate the cities, setting in motion a new age of cybercrime. To protect society, computer programming was outlawed. Anyone caught hacking was sent to prison without trial. Now, only a few hackers hiding across the world still practice this forbidden craft. Even the taste of victory was bittersweet by this point. I was so desperate to get out of this stinking city, even if it meant making a deal with the biggest gang in the block, the Soho Spiders. Their poisonous web ran for every corner of the city. Until recently, the head of their organization, Tommy Yen, was mysteriously murdered. It wouldn't take a psychic to know that the soul of Tommy Yen was virtually priceless to the spiders. In fact, it was my ticket to freedom. All I had to do was do what I do best. What could go wrong? Outer space was our frontier. Inner space is our true destiny. At the turn of the 21st century, we learned that reincarnation is a scientific fact. Welcome to Soul Search. Life itself is mediated by an electric fluid that permeates our body. On body death, the soul's unique DNA frequency is transferred to the next appropriate body somewhere on the planet. Millions, no, billions of people, not gone, but merely relocated. The more positive energy a creature generates throughout a lifetime, the higher the soul can fail to achieve a high enough level and the soul withers and disconnects completely from the universe. Truly a fate worse than death. The soul always calibrates the perfect host and souls work on a case by case or should I say a life by life basis. Thanks to our patented DNA data mapping technology collected with the Human Genome Project and combined with over a hundred thousand recorded species of animals, we are able to pinpoint soul transfer with a 99.9% accuracy. I can also tell you that this technology is very, very expensive. 
Soul Search will not be commercially available for quite some time to come. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That will be all for now. Sticks. You can't possibly erase your debt with one client. This is no ordinary client. You're looking at the reincarnated soul of Tommy Yen. You want to extort the fucking Soho Spiders? Have you lost your mind? Do you know what you're fucking dealing with? This is the last deal. No more codes, no more hacking. I'm done. Yeah. You better really hope this is Tommy Yen. According to society, I'm just a degenerate hacker. Working illegally. Wasted on synthetic drugs. Maybe they're right. Do I even deserve to be free? And then there's Ivy. She's the illegitimate daughter of Tommy Yen. My latest obsession. And quite possibly the strongest of all my addictions. Z's secret hideout in the graveyard was the safest place to store vessels. Although I was only moments away from claiming the vessel of Tommy Yan, I couldn't help but feel like there was something definitely wrong. I miss you. I, miss you. I love you. Face detention is scanning. Greetings, sticks. Please hold still. Doors unlocking. Please enter immediately or we will begin open fire. Where is he? Where is he? The hell is taking so long? Is he alright? Jesus. He's fine. Yeah, well, get on with it. For God's sake, I've got a business to run. How many of them are there, anyway? Two. Two? They must both be bloody geniuses, then. I need a whole team to produce the kind of stuff they're doing. They're hacking into my system. They're stealing my secrets. They're gonna kill my business. He's costing me a fortune. And you're costing me a bloody fortune as well. I can't afford all this. Anyway, just get on with it. Get me some action. Get me some results, for God's sake. I've got a business to run out here, and it's hemorrhaging money. Do something about it. Now. Start talking. know how much money I made today? Look at this place. Celebrities. Royalty. Billionaires. I have to hand it to you. You were right. Why do I feel like everything in my life is going wrong? You are what they say you are. Golden fucking goose! <laughs> do you want a hit? I envy you, Sticks. Half the, the world, world are shutting up my broken leaders. 
that for a smile. <laughs> Where is he? You're making a big fucking mistake, man. Really? <laughs> Let's try this another way. You left-handed or right-handed? Fuck you, man. Okay, and let's start with this finger, shall we? Shall we go with a little pink? In fact, better still, open your fucking mouth. I'll do it. You what? I said I'll fucking do it, you asshole. <laughs> there we go. Wasn't that hard, was it? Now where is he? I'll get him to you. Lead me to it. I'll fucking get him. Do you know what it is I do, Sticks? If something needs to be found, I find it. I found you, did I not? In a prison cell, helped you escape. Yet, you didn't tell me how you acquired this information. It was a lucky guess. <laughs> oh, I've heard of this Doctor Reincarnation. DNA satellites. Life after death. But despite my doubts, I managed to build a successful enterprise. Filled with hackers disposable like you. When I think of how much money we could have made. If you weren't so foolish. How does it feel to serve the king of the dead? How much until we're even? Soon, Sticks. Soon. Remember you work for us now. So just carry on acquiring this information. And we'll talk. Are you crazy? Do you have any idea how long that plan took to design? I am starting to lose my patience with these things. Follow me. Doors closing. Doors closing. Goodbye, sticks. Sticks, nice coat. I'm sure you can understand our need for extra security. We've had many unfortunate agreements in the past, and a lot of them have turned out to be disingenuous. Didn't I tell you, don't ever cross me. It was hard to convince the Soho Spiders that Tommy Yen's vessel was swimming in my pocket. As hard as the feeling of their chief enforcer pounding my flesh into pieces. Although the Soho Spiders had me at their mercy, it's only a matter of time before they realized that they were making the biggest mistake of their lives. And just as the spider reaches for its venom, they will soon reach for their wallets as they bear witness the secrets of death. You see, there is a strange phenomenon that occurs when the living are reunited with their relocated ancestors. 
It's the last trick up my sleeve. Call it animal magnetism. It's one cosmic charm. Every second I spend in this steaming shithole is altering my DNA code, finalizing my next vessel. Styx made a deal with the Soho Spiders. He was better off making a deal with the devil. Now a mad doctor wants our heads on a pike. If Styx doesn't abandon his plan, I'm gonna have to be the one to kill him. But we were friends once. I don't want to see him die, let alone by my own hand. We good? Yes, very good. But three million is quite absurd. I didn't come here to bargain. What is he doing? It's just three million. Give him what he wants. Are you insane? Wait, wait, stop! Hengja! Are you sure? Yes, I'm certain. Damn you, Sticks. Where the hell are you? You sold our secrets to a one-eyed Russian? I served my sentence only to be sent on a suicide mission? But what cuts the deepest is now you dragged Ivy into it. She was my girl until you came along. And now I hear you use her just to get closer to the spiders. I made a promise to protect Ivy whatever the cost. Who knew the cost would be my soul? I've accepted what happens in this next life. Heaven and hell is on earth, but it's in another vessel. One wrong step and we're all lamb for the slaughter. If I don't stop sticks, we are doomed in this life. And the next. Sticks. We warned you about this, didn't we? Now, take your death like a man. How heroic of you. There was no getting around it. The deal was dead. As dead as my chances of getting out of this town alive with Ivy as I planned. The killer in black. Who the hell hired him and how did he find me? Every second I waste is just another opportunity for them to get closer. Gotta keep moving. No choice now but to come clean to Z. What the fuck did you do? Z man, I swear to you I was this close to closing the deal. But this guy came out of nowhere. You don't know. Soul Search have been bugging you for the last few months. That's impossible. I was untraceable. Yeah, not anymore. And that was my informant from the spiders on the phone. They've just doubled the hit on you. You need to be out of town, kid. They're gonna be after you. You need to get out of here now. What am I supposed to do? I'm broke. I haven't got any money to start a new life. You need to give me one more case, and I swear to God, I'm out the door, you'll never see me again. It was all beginning to make sense to me. Soul Search, the company I've been hacking, hired the killer to find me. It was clear to see they'd stop at nothing to stop me from stealing their technology. Finding another deal was the only way I could get myself out of this mess. Somewhere on Zalowski's desk was my final possibility. A vessel with a desperate family, a high roller, someone with connections, someone that could get me out of this country and under the radar, somebody like Avedon. Alexander Avedon was an entrepreneur that ruthlessly built his company from the ground up. He created a successful empire and handed it down to his son after he was poisoned. He had so many enemies that till this day nobody knows who the real assassin was. Some say it was the Soho Spiders that did it, but most say it was his son. 
the fact is, Avedon Jr., who recently inherited his father's fortune, is just around the corner at the Neon Nightclub, waiting for my offer. <clears throat> Does that hurt? Yes. Who are you working for? Are you lying to me? No. You better not be trying to fuck my deal. I swear I'm coming back, I promise. I'll meet with Junior and square the deal. You have my word. You really think you can escape? You think you and Ivy can just run away? Even you and Ivy one day will end up in a tank just like this. Just get this shit ready. Don't be late. So, this technology, how does it work? I don't know. What the fuck do you mean you don't know? I don't know, I didn't build the fucking thing, did I? Did you find him? Yeah. What is he? I don't know. But you'll see. Bring him to me. Yeah, well, it's not going to be that easy. I'm going to need a little something in return. <laughs> Don't you fucking patronize me. <laughs> I'm the heir to the greatest fortune in the world. Money means nothing to me. Do you honestly think that I don't know what you really want? You see, I heard about your little situation. I have men on the border. A man in my position could easily arrange for you and Ivy. safe passage back into the States and new passports. Are you spying on me? My father used to say, always know what people want. I'm on my way. I'd hurry if I were you, Sticks. The only hacker in town? No, couldn't be. Stone, Ivy's ex boyfriend, thought he was still in jail. The depths of my generosity extends to many hearts. I was beginning to feel the heat from being a wanted man as my name circled around the city like a ring of fire. But at least now, I could radiate in the comforting knowledge that Averton's vessel was safely in my hands. But one question still burned. Did Z know about my plans to leave the city as soon as the deal was done? By this point, hundreds of hitmen were tearing through the city to hunt me down. Returning to the club right now is exactly what they want me to do. But what choice do I have? I hate to say it, but Averton's son was right. I knew what I wanted. There was no way I was leaving town without persuading Ivy to come with me first. It would only be a matter of time before the killer tracked her down too. No, not tonight. Not any night. Wow, wow, wow. Look what the cat tracks in. How'd you find me? I got my sources. The little bird tell you? More like an Avery. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm with someone. And when he gets back here, he'll be the last thing he wants to see. Looks like you've been a busy little bee. Care to know where I stopped by? Care to bring back the 20 grand you stole? Stole? No. That was an investment. That unfortunately went sour. That was my father's money. That money was all I had. I know. That's why I want you to come to New York with me. <laughs> Move to New York with you? When? Tonight. Tonight? No. Why not? Uh, I'm 
million reasons. How about one you left me when I needed you the most? Are you really seeing somebody? None of your business sticks. What's that supposed to mean? It means I can fuck whoever I want. Yeah, but so can I. <laughs> Why didn't you fuck yourself then? There you go, pull on my heartstrings. Do you have any idea how long it took me to track you down? Do you have any idea what it's like waiting for someone to come home and he never does? <sighs> Who are you? Where does the money come from? Where do you go at night, Stick? I could ask you the same question. But I still want you to come to New York with me. <laughs> no. Busy. Ivy, mean, why'd you have to drag everything out? What do you want me to say? Nothing. Said goodbye to you for the last time. Perfect. And just like that, she breaks my heart in two and throws it off the balcony. Dreams of escaping the city together as I plan fall to its death. And the cold, hard concrete welcomes me back with open arms. I wish I could tell Ivy the truth, but what's left of my heart sinks when I think about how she would take the news. That everything she believed in was a lie. The revelation was hard for me to swallow the first time I found out. My universe shattered into a thousand pieces. Since then, I've always been searching the streets for something to take the edge off. And tonight was no exception. <laughs> These hackers were widespread. But they soon lost their way and became drunk on their newfound power. Unlike me, these men don't sell souls. They consume them. But who am I to judge? We're all addicted to the past. Every one of us. Running away from our shadows. Broken men, lost to technology. Clinging to reality upon the cliffs of madness. Tonight I'd stoop as low as hell itself to fill the bitter emptiness that coursed through my veins. I sing for mercy with a generation of fallen angels for a choir to hear my song. Rejoice, for the prodigal son of hell is home once more. I hate you. I never want to see you again. We're finished. Get lost. I remember the day those cops found your computer. Didn't take me long to work out it was your big mouth that led them straight to us. They seized and destroyed our entire life savings. Everything we worked for, every scam we ran, every hustle we muscled, and all because you disobeyed my orders. But they didn't know our secret, did they, Styx? We were two hackers who stumbled upon the greatest power known to man. And we exploited that power, for there is no action without consequences. And there are no consequences without action. What we do in this life does matter. Every step counts. And that's why I won't kill you, Styx. But I will stop you from throwing your life away. Hey, that Styx, he's a wanted man. Soul search one him. <laughs> Just broke his legs. I heard he's worth a lot of money. Oh, I see his brains. <laughs> Shit. Where the hell am I? There's always a taste of shame in my mouth. The kind of shame you get when you allow yourself to be captured. But the worst taste was knowing that I had lost Davidson's vessel. Who took it? Was it these three creeps? I let my guard down for one minute and now these thugs think they can collect the bounty on my head. Looks like he's woken up. I'm knocking back to sleep then. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you. Ooh. Kill him now. Come here, Stitz.
Greetings, Mr. West. I'm Lily too. How may I help you? There was no way this holographic help bot could help me. Not unless it knew how to perform a holy miracle. Leave me alone. But there was still a chance that maybe she saw who took Avidson's vessel. Actually, wait. Where's the vessel? I'm sorry, that's classified information. But would you like me to find you the first available taxi, or perhaps an ambulance to the nearest hospital? Where's the fucking box? I'm sorry, I'm not authorized to give out personal information. Let me bring you to the main menu. Despite my charms, Lulu 2's data protection blocked her from showing me. I would have to hack into her internal system if I was gonna get any information out of her. What are you doing? Interfering with Lulu Systems is a criminal offence and a violation of Public Sector Code 91G. Please stop what you're doing or you'll face immediate criminal prosecution. Calling the authorities in three, two, one. I'm Lulu too. How may I help you? Find me the vessel that belongs to me. Accessing city surveillance. Lulu 2 confirmed it. Stone was the one who stole Avidson's vessel. He'd been following me like a stray dog waiting to pounce the moment I left the club. But it wasn't just me tracking him down. Soul Search's hitmen were on our tails, getting closer by the second. For God's sake, I've got a business to run. How many of them are there anyway? We were two best friends who stumbled upon the greatest discovery known to mankind. Two? They must both be bloody geniuses then. I need a whole team to produce the kind of stuff they're doing. We exploited a power that didn't belong to us. They're hacking into my system, they're stealing my secrets. And now they wish to rid their virus. They're gonna kill my business. Hell had finally caught up to us. <laughs> I had two sticks. Soul Search were onto us. You never did know how to keep your fucking mouth shut. I had no choice. It was either me or you. But it was never gonna be me. So that's how Soul Search found me. Stone set me up. But I guess he was too busy stabbing me in the back to watch out for his own. Now he's a hitman's roadkill. Death comes and goes in this city, like passing faces in the night. Wonder when it will be my turn. I spent my entire life running from the shadows, only to become one. <laughs> Six! You're early! I'm impressed! Something to drink. Save the small talk. <laughs> Gotta get this thing going. You still look like shit. May I? Just be careful. You have no idea what I... As you can see, your father wasn't the most righteous man, was he? Then again, you knew that, didn't you? This wasn't about saving your father, was it? All my life, my father told me what to do, what to think, what to feel. 
father. Forgive me. I'll have the papers drawn up. An abandoned dream stitched together like some grotesque science experiment gone wrong. A hopeless miracle flushed down the toilet. So this is what it feels like. Victory. Finally, I had all the money I wanted, but it still felt like a kick to the stomach without Ivy in the picture. I thought winning was meant to feel good, but why does it feel like I've lost everything? You can't cheat death, not in any lifetime. We're all just products of our mistakes, and the enemy within is just around the corner. Call me what you want, a merchant of death, I sold souls to the living, only to lose mine along the way. For there is no action without consequences, and there are no consequences without action. I wish I could tell Ivy everything, where the money comes from, where I go at night, the truth. It's the beginning of the end for me, and the end is just the beginning. Now I realize, no matter where my soul resides, it will always belong to her. Ivy, my love. Thank you.